Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I am your host, Chris Shanafell, and I am now joined by 2014 NFL Draft Prospect, tight end out of Indiana, Ted Bolser. Thanks for joining the show, Ted. How's it going, man? Doing very well. Appreciate you guys having me. Hey, it, the pleasure is all mine, and uh, so we're going to be talking about your football career, and I just want to start this interview off by asking a very simple question, and that is, coming out of high school, you were ranked the third best tight end uh, in the state of Ohio. I mean, you had a pretty successful and talented high school football uh, career. Uh, why did you decide to attend Indiana University, and why did you decide to play football for the Hoosiers? Um, I think I just got really lucky with the school I chose. Um, they're one of my uh, only. They're my only offer from the Big Ten, and uh, I really want to play Big Ten football with your family and friends and everything. And um, I think I got really lucky. I found my niche, and um, I, I, again, I just I, I really enjoyed my time there, and uh, they, they treated me well. You registered your first year in 2009, and it was in 2010 when you were finally able to get on the field and contribute to the team uh, very quickly, and you started seven games, played in all 12. I see you recorded 27 receptions for over 400 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, is there any chance you could tell us about that very first college football touchdown that you recorded as an uh, Indiana Hoosier? It was a uh, one-of-a-kind feeling. Um, I mean, every touchdown is, uh, but... Especially just going into that year, not knowing much if I was going to play or if anything. And um, unfortunately, I got my opportunity. And uh, my very first catch and uh, my first touchdown all happened at once. And there was a lot to show here. <laughs> now, I see after a pretty successful uh, year in 2010, uh, I got to think you, you had a lot of, uh, of high expectations uh, entering the 2011 season. Uh, I know there is coach, a, a coaching change as Bill Lynch was fired and you guys brought in Kevin Wilson as a new head coach. Uh, now, you guys struggled that season, winning only one game, finishing 1-11 that year. Uh, why do you think that was? Did, did it have anything to do with trying to learn a new offense, a new playbook, anything like that? Yeah, um, we, again, with our coaching change, we were just getting used to everything. Um, I really wasn't used much as a receiving tight end. Mm-hmm. And uh, we did a lot of quarterback running and uh, not that much throwing. So, I mean, I did what I had to do. And the uh, coaches asked me to block a lot, and that's what I did. Now, uh, when you think of the tight end position nowadays, you, you think of like a wide receiver. You know, you, you think of them catching the football a lot. Uh, many people forget that their job is also to block. How do you feel about your blocking ability? Uh, I think my blocking is uh, improved tremendously, especially from that 2010 year. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's like a 180 compared to that. Um, I think I'm very capable of doing it um, wherever the, the, I end up. Uh, H-Tech, Y, anything, pullback, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to try to get the job done. And, uh, again, I think it's really improved, and uh, so I think it only get better, too. Uh, Ted, in 2012, you were able to you know, get back on track as more of a wide receiver tight end. I see you caught uh, 41 catches for 445 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, what were your personal expectations for this past season, knowing that it will be your final year to prove to everybody that you could play at the next level? Um, well, I think it just started off with us trying to get more wins. And, uh, I mean, it happened, but uh, we didn't get enough. And, um, but, again, I, I had a pretty good year. Uh, they went to me, they threw me early, uh, a lot. And, I mean, it showed us, uh, had a lot of catches at the beginning of the season. And a lot of, some of our own line went down. And, uh, after that third game, is again, I was just like, asked to block and stay in and help. And, uh. I, I did what I could do, and uh, I, I've lost a lot, but, I mean, it could have been a blessing in disguise. People, um, really, uh, it really showed how hard I played and uh, how well I blocked. So, I mean, uh, I just did everything I asked, and uh, there's no question to ask. After putting up 35 receptions, 320 yards, and six touchdowns, and uh, uh, like you said, you blocked quite a lot this past season, uh, you became the Indiana Hoosiers all-time tight end leader with 117 receptions, 1,337 yards, and 15 touchdowns. Now, I know you guys didn't have a winning record during your time at Indiana, but overall, overall, how would you describe your experience there? I mean, you, you had a great college football career at Indiana, Ted. Yeah, definitely. And again, I, I really found my niche with Indiana. Uh, who knows what would happen if I ended up anywhere else. Uh, all the coaches were awesome. They, they all loved me. They respected me. And uh, I mean, I couldn't ask for much more. And uh, they gave me a lot. And uh, I tried to give them in return what uh, they gave me. But um, again, I wish we had more wins. But I, uh, I found my place and I, I loved it and I went along with it. 
Chris Shanfeld talking with 2014 NFL Draft prospect out of Indiana, tight end Ted Bolser. And Ted, can you tell us about this last week of yours? Uh, you were able to spend some time in St. Petersburg, Florida with other NFL Draft prospects from all types of different schools to participate in the East-West Shrine game. Uh, what, what was that experience like? Uh, it was an awesome experience. Um, they, uh, they treated us really uh, they treated us great down there. Um, it was awesome to see everybody from uh, all over the, the nation and uh, just be able to have this friendly competition and just uh, just talk with all those guys and where they've come from and just all the different backgrounds. It was, a, it was a great experience. You're on the West team, and uh, although you guys came up short against the East squad, 23-13, to you are able to make some catches uh, and catch some eyes. Uh, I just got to ask you, was there anybody, whether they were on your team or, or even on the uh, opponent, uh, opponent team, uh, was there anybody that really caught your eye at this game? Um, I, I really, my roommate, actually, uh, I think Keith Wedding, uh, did a really great job that whole week, and uh, He's a great kid, and um, he played right across the state from me, uh, Indiana. So they played at Ball State. And uh, I think he had a really great week, and um, I think it showed. And, uh, he's just a really good kid, and uh, he, he, um, I was really impressed by him. Hey, one of my favorite quarterback prospects, man, Keith Wenning, Ball State, uh, probably one of the best. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks over at Ball State, I would say, in a very, very long time. Uh, now, I know there were a lot of yeah. NFL scouts in attendance at the Shrine game. Were you able to talk to any of them? And if so, what were the, some things they were saying about you? Um, they just said, if you, uh, if you run fast, you'll get drafted higher. And uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. But, uh, like I, again, I said, uh, I'm, I'm out here training in Miami, just doing whatever I can do. And uh, I talked to probably around 20 20 shouts, 20 different teams. Um, again, it was a great experience. I got a lot of exposure, and uh, it was good to talk to everybody. Now, being able to talk to about 20 teams, I know you want the—I know you won't play for any professional team that gives you the opportunity, Ted. But uh, you know, is there any scouts or any teams that are sticking out more than others now? Uh, you know, after being able to talk with some of those scouts. Um, shoot, I, I, I really just took it in. I mean. Uh, position to be able to talk to our teams and I'm not when it comes to a team I'm not going to be greedy and uh, it'd be pretty bad if I were so I mean I just soaked it all in and talked to all the guys that were interested and uh, tried to prove the ones that weren't uh, that they should be so I mean again uh, any team would be great and um, I think that's how it's going to stay Hey, man, I hear you. I hear you. I, I do not blame you at all. Uh, Ted, just a few more questions for you, then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time, man. Uh, when did you find out that the NFL can not only be a dream, but it could become a reality? Um, just, when I, just when I got my, my first offer um, to, to a college. And, um, I, one of the biggest influences on my life was my wide receiver coach in high school, um, Brian Walker. He just he really just saw the potential in me, and he just, he ran with it. And um, I mean, he helped me throughout the whole way, and uh, he just believed in me all the time. And uh, he just, he he knew I could do it, and he he told he told me from day one when when he met me, and uh, and ever since then, I mean, it, it can become a reality. And it's crazy, but it's, it's a great feeling, good, good position to be in. According to NFLDraftScout.com, you are ranked the 17th best tight end out of all 126 of them that will be entering the 2014 NFL Draft. Uh, do you pay attention to stuff like that, Ted, where you're ranked and where people have you going in their mock drafts? Um, I, I, I'm mostly here to uh, the grapevine. I, I hear from people talking about it. and uh, I, I, don't, I don't pay attention too much to it just because I mean, there's no reason to. It's, uh, it's just your fate. You're gonna end up somewhere, and you gotta prove to them that they like uh, to like you, and that uh, you're worth um, their investment. So, I mean, it's not that it's not worth my time too much, but I, I hear I hear it every once in a while. Hey man, either way, whether you're a first round pick or a seventh round pick or an undrafted free agent, you're going to have to put in work and uh, it sounds like you understand that for sure. Uh, my next question for you, Ted, yeah. is uh, if you would compare yourself to a tight end currently playing in the NFL, who do you think that would be and why? Um, I think, actually, 
Actually, uh, some guy, uh, not just any guy, the head basketball coach at IU, Tom Crane, really said that I, I, uh, I really was like uh, Owen Daniels out of Wisconsin, and uh, he just says I have the same tenacity the way I catch the ball on how it's just natural. And uh, I mean, that, that came a lot from uh, a guy like uh, Coach Crane. But um, from what I hear, the either him or uh, maybe like Brent Selleck, uh, guys like those, the utility guys can do everything. Yeah, hey, they've had a lot of success in the NFL, so uh, those are not bad comparisons at all. Uh, let's say for whatever reason there's an NFL general manager out there listening to this very interview. Why should he want Ted Bolzer, tight end out of uh, Indiana, on his team? Um, I'm, if you give me a job to do it, I'm going to figure a way to do it. Um, uh, I, like I'm, a, I'm a doer, and um, I'll do anything they ask, and I'll probably exceed their expectations. So, I mean, hoping on special teams, I played the full year, and I, I, I love it. I soak it all in. I love tackling. So, um, just give me a job and figure a way to do it. I'm, this is. Ted, how excited are you for not only the NFL Combine, but your your Pro Day, the NFL Draft? I, I got to think all this is like a dream come true, and uh, it, re it really sounds like you're enjoying this experience. Yeah, I am. And I'm soaking it all in. And, uh, not many people get to be in this position. Hmm. And uh, my, my family really just tells me that every day and just tells me how blessed lucky I am. And uh, again, I'm just soaking it all in. And uh, I'm very fortunate to be in this position I am. Ted, last question for you, and that is, can you just give us an update on uh, how training's going? I know you said you're out there in Miami. Uh, how, how is it out there? It's awesome. Uh, it's a great place. I'm down here at uh, Bomberito, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better place to be at. And, uh, I mean, they know what they're doing. And, uh, again, I'm just very lucky to be in a position I'm in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, enjoying it. I'm enjoying the sun. I'm soaking it all in, too. Hey man, don't don't rub it in now to us and back in the Midwest, all right? <laughs> hey Ted, yeah, I, I really I've do been appreciate. Doing that a lot this week. Oh, I, I bet. Now, now Ted, I really do appreciate your time, man. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I'm certainly wishing you nothing but the best. Congrats on a great career at Indiana. Now, before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to myself and our listeners? Hey, I appreciate you guys having me very much. Um, it's, it's been a pleasure interviewing with you and. Uh, Again, I appreciate it very much, and I uh, wish you guys the best. All right, thanks, Ted. Hope we keep in touch. Take care, all right, man? Absolutely. Take it easy.